Okay, I want to take a moment and I want to show you how to use Google Layout to create a clipped view of a model. All right, so first of all, let's get rid of me, by me, probably didn't need that anyway. Uh, so the next thing we have is I have already preloaded Google Layout. Now, Layout is a, is a software that's included with Google SketchUp Pro only, and what it allows you to do is lay out views of your model so that you can share them in printed media or electronic slides. So I have a basic multimedia card here that I designed, and what I want to do is I want to highlight a feature, but I don't want to show it in a rectangular viewport. You'll notice that as I click on these, these are rectangular viewports into my model. Here's one, here's one, here's one. What I'd like to do is have a, for instance, a circular-shaped viewport that highlights a specific area. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to, I want to highlight a caster. So I'm going to take this viewport right here, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to copy and paste it. So I'll go to Edit, Copy, and then I'll go up here and Edit and Paste. Now I have a, an exact duplicate right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over here for now. Let's get it out of the way, say right here. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these views. And you'll see why. I just need a little more space on my page. So I'm going to highlight those and delete them and get rid of them. And let's get rid of our text here that we've included. And I'm going to take and move this back into this space. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click within this viewport. When I do that, what will happen is it will let me actually modify that view so that I can orbit around and zoom in on particular areas. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pan this up here. And you remember what I wanted was the caster. So I'm going to bring a view here that shows me that caster. And then I'm going to zoom in to about the point where it shows the actual view that I want. Okay. And so I'll move that around and maybe zoom in just a bit more. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, you'll notice when I click outside that it'll lock that view, and that view is within my rectangular viewport. But again, what I would like to do is I'd like to have a circular viewport. So what I'm going to do is use my circle tool, and I'm going to draw a circle. Now, you'll notice uh, by default my circle is being actually um, filled. So let's go ahead and go to... Window, let's go to Shape Style, and I'm going to highlight this circle, and I'm going to turn off the fill, and that's going to let me see what's underneath. So I'll go ahead and put this up here, click, that's Dock, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this so that it is over my viewport, and you'll see there we go. Now, I have a circle that surrounds the caster, the, and that is, and you'll see right here, it looks like I'm a little bit large. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hold my shift key, and I'm going to scale that. Holding your shift will just make sure it scales proportionally so you don't get an oval. And that seems to be pretty good. Now what I'm going to do to make this viewport into a circular viewport, I highlight the viewport, I hold my shift key, click the circle, and then I'm going to right click on the circle, and you'll see it says create clip mask. So let's hit that and watch what happens. And you'll notice that now I have a circular viewport. And that circular viewport can be moved around. And so now I have a viewport that highlights that caster detail. Now, one other interesting thing that I like is you can change the style of that viewport. If I use my SketchUp model feature, and I'm going to move that over here. And let's go to Styles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this style to be something a little more sketchy, as they say. So if I click on that, now it looks like an actual sketch. And you, again, you use the, the SketchUp Model tab here, and you can use the Styles area. And I can also turn on, even turn on shadows within that area. And you'll see they'll darken. Now, because it's underneath, it's not going to look too, uh, it's, not, it's too dark. So let's go ahead and turn that off. But let's go back and show you some different styles that we have. We could do something that has a little transparency. We can do something with a little bit of color, but still has a sketchy appearance. Or we can just do a line sketch. Those are the default styles. There's also some other ones called sketchy edges. And sketchy edges makes the edges even rougher and looks like you're using different types of media like charcoal, pencils, and even pens to highlight those options. Or those features, I'm sorry. And there you go. So there's some interesting options for you. 
You can even do a negative. And you also have more straight lines that look like this and give you more of a hand-drawn sketch. Now, I kind of like that, so I'll put that away. We'll move this back over here, and I'll click out of here, and there you go. So now we have a circular clip view of our caster, and we've also made it into a kind of a sketch look to go with our SketchUp theme. Whatever shape you can create, you can create a clipped viewport. So remember that you can just draw different shapes, and as long as you remember to click the item and the shape and then right click, you can always create that mask and get that shape. So let's end it there because then I think that opens up a world of possibilities and probably get your, your mind uh, creativity uh, flowing a little bit. So hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial.